Hypertensive crisis is a severe and abrupt elevation in blood pressure, with a systolic BP above 180 mm of mercury and a diastolic BP above 120 mm of mercury. Hypertensive crisis is acute and life-threatening. This requires emergency treatment due to target organ damage, which is called hypertensive emergency. If the patient's blood pressure is severely elevated, but there is no clinical evidence of target organ damage, therefore, this is categorized as hypertensive urgency. In addition to elevated blood pressure, a patient experiencing a hypertensive crisis may present symptoms such as headache, drowsiness, confusion, blurred vision, changes in neurological status, dyspnea, cyanosis, and seizures. As a nurse, it is crucial to maintain the patient's airway and place them on bed rest with the head of the bed elevated at a 45-degree angle. Monitor vital signs, especially blood pressure, every five minutes. Assess for hypertension during the administration of antihypertensive treatment. If it occurs, reposition the patient in a supine position and ensure that emergency medications and resuscitation equipment are readily available. For hypertensive urgency, administer antihypertensive medications orally as prescribed, such as clonidine, cataprez, or captopril, capoten. And for hypertensive emergency, administer antihypertensive medications intravenously as prescribed, such as nitroprusside, nitropress, diazoxide, hypostat, nicardipine, cardine, or labetalol, trandate. Possible main causes of hypertensive crisis include patients with hypertension who are non-compliant with their prescribed medication or under-medicated. Additionally, individuals who use substances such as cocaine, crack, amphetamines, phencyclidine, PCP, and lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD, may experience hypertensive crises. Another potential cause is patients taking monoamine oxidase inhibitors who consume tyramine-rich foods. Hypertensive crisis can be very dangerous as it may lead to several complications, including hypertensive encephalopathy, intracranial or subarachnoid hemorrhage, acute left ventricular failure with pulmonary edema, myocardial infarction, dissecting aortic aneurysm, and renal failure. It's crucial to monitor intake and output to detect possible kidney injury. If oliguria or anuria occurs, it's important to notify the physician promptly. Additionally, the nurse should monitor IV therapy, assessing for signs of fluid overload. The nurse should teach the patient to determine and avoid the causes of hypertensive crises, such as medication compliance, abstaining from illicit drugs, and steering clear of tyramine-rich foods if they are taking monoamine oxidase inhibitors.